Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to subtract mixed numbers with regrouping, also referred to as borrowing. Let's jump into our example where we have 14 and 1 third minus 7 and 11 twelfths. Now the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to rewrite this problem vertically, so up and down, lining up the fractions and the whole numbers. So let's come to the side and we have 14 and 1 third minus 7 and 11 twelfths. Once we're lined up, we can subtract and we're going to start by subtracting the fractions. So we have 1 third minus 11 twelfths. Now we can't subtract quite yet because we do not have a common denominator. We have to have the same denominator there in order to subtract. Now in order to find a common denominator, we need to find the least common multiple between 3 and 12. And that's going to give us our least common denominator. You may be able to think about what that least common multiple is without writing out the multiples lists but I'll come to the side as a refresher and write out some multiples of 3 and 12 in order to find that least common multiple. So 3 and 12. Now my suggestion would be write out 4 or 5 multiples each. Multiples go on forever. So again, write out 4 or 5. See if you have any in common. If not, you can always extend your lists. So let's start with 3. So 3, 6, 9, 12. So we'll do four multiples of 3 and then four multiples of 12. The first multiple of 12 is 12. And you may notice we have something in common, 12 here. And that is going to be our least common multiple. So there's no need to extend that list once we find that least common multiple. That's going to be our least common denominator. So 12 is going to be our common denominator that we're going to use. Once we have that, we need to rename the fractional part of these mixed numbers with that common denominator. Let's start with 14 and 1 third. So this is going to equal 14 and how many twelfths? We don't do anything with the whole number. That doesn't need to be renamed. We're only renaming the fractional part. So let's use equivalent fractions in order to rename here. So how do we get 3 to equal 12? Well, 3 times 4 is 12. Whatever we do to the bottom, we must do to the top in order to keep this equivalent. So 1 times 4 is going to give us 4. So now we can do 7 and 11 twelfths. Well, that already has a denominator of 12. So we do not need to rename there. We can just bring over the 11 twelfths. Let's bring over our subtraction sign and then the equal sign. Now we're ready to subtract because we have that common denominator. So we have 4 twelfths minus 11 twelfths. But there's a problem because we cannot do 4 minus 11. We need to regroup or borrow in order to subtract. So we need to borrow one whole from the 14. So let's cross the 14 out and it's now going to be 13. We need to give one whole to the 4 twelfths. Now we're going to do that in fractional form. So plus one whole, and we're going to use 12 over 12. 12 over 12, if you have the same number on the top and bottom, same numerator and denominator, that equals one whole. Now I chose 12 twelfths, so we would have a common denominator there, 12 and 12, and we would easily be able to add these fractions. So our new regrouped 14 and 4 twelfths is going to be 13, and 4 plus 12 is 16 twelfths. So to recap real quick here, we borrowed from the 14, borrowed one whole from the 14, that gave us 13, and we gave one whole to the fractional part 4 twelfths, and we wrote one whole as 12 over 12. That way we can easily add those fractions. We had that common denominator, so we could do 4 plus 12 is 16, and then keep our denominator of 12 the same. Now as far as the 7 and 11 twelfths, 
we can just bring that over as is. It already has that common denominator of 12. There's no need to regroup or borrow or do anything else with the 7 and 11 twelfths. So again, we're just bringing it over and lining everything up. And now we are ready to subtract. Let's bring the subtraction sign over. So we have 13 and 16 twelfths minus 7 and 11 twelfths. Let's subtract the fractions here. So 16 twelfths minus 11 twelfths. Well, 16 minus 11 is 5. And we keep our denominator of 12 the same. Now we can subtract our whole numbers. So 13 minus 7. That gives us 6. So we end up with 6 and 5 twelfths. Always look to see if you can simplify the fractional part of a mixed number. 5 twelfths is in simplest form. The only common factor between 5 and 12 is 1. So we are done. Our final answer, 6 and 5 twelfths. So there you have it. There's how you subtract mixed numbers with regrouping, also known as borrowing. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.